In the terms of training wise, it's been good. Been uh, getting good sparring in with Sam again, uh, Corey, who's also on the show. It's kind of like we're always in there training together, so we kind of see what each other's going through, so we can kind of relate to each other and. You know, we just try and give positive energy and that helps it that helps us flipping, you know, just <laughs> keep training hard. It's there to get the job done, same as usual. Going out there looking for the knockout again, so yeah, um I've sold quite a few tickets for this one as well, so I appreciate all the support to my fans and it's gonna go for look for another knockout again. Brilliant, you know, um, all knockouts. Only thing was a title missing. For the title at the end of the year, then that would have been perfect. But hats off to Mickey, got me out loads back in 2021. Um, I had some good wins under him as well, all knockouts. So that was another positive. Yeah, that's it. Whoever they put in front of me, I'm there to knock them out. So, yeah, it's. Um, don't really matter who it is as long as try stay um, exciting as possible. So obviously you try getting you can obviously push for them big fights. Yeah, he's looking a lot like a lot strong, stronger. I don't know whether that's because he's come down in weight. He looks sharper, but I, I don't I haven't seen his opponent before, so I haven't watched no videos on him. But from watching Sam himself, he looks like he can. As long as he stays switched on and he's sharp from the f um, from the first bow, he should do a number on him. He can box. He's um, when he's switched on, but sometimes he kind of just gets in that mode of let's just have it. <laughs> but yeah, he kind of needs to switch it up, trying to be a bit more smarter. So and yeah, he, he showed that in his last fight against um, what's that Mexican's name? Melina. Melina. Was that his last one? Uh, that was the one before. Oh, okay. Yeah, he showed it in that one. He showed that he could box in that one. Even in that Jukto, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, he showed it in that one that he can do that too. So he kind of, he's, he, from the looks of it, he shows that he's improving. So it's always a good sign. Look how far he's come and shows that he's always improving from when he won his first British title. Even from when he beat like the likes of uh, Denton Fasau, look how far he's come from that level. So yeah, he's fought uh, some experienced guys like Liam Smith, so all that just adds on to his resume. Um, it was a good fight, watching it from the, uh, a fan's perspective. So I think I was in the crowd at the time, talking to a few of my fans, and I was uh, try trying to watch it, obviously, all on cheering me off. But um, from what I saw, it was a good fight. It looked like it was entertaining. Uh, it looked like it was 50-50. And then it was the cut, weren't it? And obviously, when you're from watching it back, obviously, if you was watching it live, you would like you wouldn't have knew how the cut was. So, like, you would have just presumed that it was just from them fighting a punch. And then when the ref said that it was a headbutt, and then when you watch it back and it was actually a punch, so it was a bit of a uh, controversial night, weren't it? They're both gonna train as hard as they can. Obviously, the first one was 50-50, so I think maybe River might bank the earlier rounds because of his boxing style, and then because of Tyler's boxing style, he might get the later rounds, but who knows, 50-50 fight. I think you kind of, your goal, you always set an end goal, but you have checkpoints along the way, so you try and tick off them checkpoints, but at the same time, you take each step as it comes. Just know that I'm going to look for the knockout and it's going to come eventually, if not uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and yeah, just same again, keep on this KO streak.